So a long time ago, when I was young, I did my A-levels, um, we studied uh, psychology and came across internal and external locus of control. Locus of control, not locust. Locus, L-O-C-U-S. And the premise is that if you've got an internal locus of control, then you tend to take more uh, personal responsibility and tend to be more motivated as well to to make better decisions and be accountable for for your decisions and actions and what i always say is that we are a sum of the decisions that we make and and the actions that we take and then if you've got an external locus of control that tends to mean that if something happens which you're not too happy with you'll tend to blame others or situations or external forces. I always think about this kind of analogy of maybe a school kid who doesn't get the GCSEs or that get very good grades. I didn't get very good grades at GCSE uh, level. I actually uh, resat a, a bunch of them at, um, at, at college um, straight after I'd, I'd finished school actually. Uh, and then I went on to do my A-levels. Um, but yeah, um, just just thinking about me as, as that kid uh, and thinking back, did I have an internal locus control um, or an external locus control at that time? Did I blame other, did I blame situations? Um, I'll have a think about that. If I would have had an internal locus control and it's maybe not that clear cut. It's maybe not black and white. It's maybe not absolute. You maybe you can have uh, a, a bit of both. Um, but if I would have had more of an, an internal loss control, um, then it would have been yeah. I played I played too many video games, and you know maybe I didn't concentrate as as much as I could have. Maybe I didn't study as hard. The, the, there are things that I could have that that I could have done better. Um, I didn't have the best time at school, um, and uh, I, I can't say I enjoyed it. So, um, but is is there anything that I could have done, could have done better? There's probably improvements that I could have made. There's probably better decisions that I could have made. But um, you know that that's what's what happened. Now, if I would have had an external locus of control, then um i would have blamed the teachers or i would have blamed um all manner of things and just oh it's not my fault and i would have been very much a victim um but it's good to take personal responsibility um and and actually think about the ways that we can um control things um i mean back in february um somebody scraped my car um completely their fault i was actually static in a in a car park um and they drove into me um so yeah but could I, could i have done anything differently um i would go into the little supermarket for a couple of croissants the croissants that healthy um could have been in a different place so can i take any uh, responsibility for for that decision that was made um and could he have been making healthier decisions uh and it could have been a bit of karma because i should have really been eating my porridge when i were going to get some croissants and just satisfying um, an urge that's probably not even going to satiate me myself. It's not going to satiate um, my appetite as as much as porridge. Um, so could he have could he have got there ten minutes earlier? Could he go up ten minutes earlier and not hit the snooze button? Possibly. Um, so we're in that place at that time, and could he have parked um, in another space? And we can beat ourselves up about these things, but the more you can control in life, um, 
the better, I think, in terms of uh, decisions uh, that we make. So, um, just read through a, a few bits of this, actually. Um, so, yeah, internal loss control. I think I've hit that in a in a in a nutshell. The resilience part of it um, about uh, you know persisting in in the face of challenges is is uh, really um, one of the ways that I live my life in terms of resilience, persistence. Um, and yeah, I love that viewing obstacles as as opportunities to learn and grow. Um, the external locus of control that really bothers me, the perceived powerlessness. Um, the blame, blaming others rather than rather than taking responsibility uh, and being personally accountable um, and you know looking through all lessons learned and how we could do things better uh, in the journey to become the best possible version of, of ourselves. Um, and it's, it's, it's interesting our motivations mentioned uh, on both of these, but motivation um, as uh, somebody being motivated versus being less motivated if they've got an external look, of control uh, and the stress and, and anxiety that comes from having that uh, perceived lack of control over their own lives um, as well. So yeah, that's that, that's the internal versus external looks of control. Just maybe take five minutes to to ponder uh, on what I've said. I don't know if you've heard of this term before. I don't know if you're looking this up for a university or college project or anything like that. I hope you find it interesting. I I find psychology um, absolutely fascinating. Um, it helps in marketing, it helps in sales, uh, it's helped me, like I said, in my career in business. Um, I think it's good to have a good, well-rounded uh, wealth of knowledge to to, to help um, us to understand the the world. Uh, and I'm very grateful, I've got a lot of gratitude for um, the studies that I've done and the continued studies uh, that I do every day as well, every day of my life. So I hope you found this interesting. Um, any comments, pop them in below. Uh, like, share, um, and subscribe if if you like the content.